Good day and welcome to Focus On with myself, Dilbert Rarameyer. Sustainable practices and environmental awareness are key concepts accepted and expected from organizations. Investors seek to align their interest in the betterment of their organizations and the shareholders and ultimately steer funding and form partnerships with shared interest in the environmental, social and governance framework. As organizations become more conscious of where the investments lie, so does the interest to understand the full impact of the value chain from point of material origin, i.e. where the raw material is mined, up to the end product. NASDAQ Listed Corporation Security Matters, or SMX's CEO, H. Alon, joins me from Singapore to delve deeper into the technology available to track the value chain of raw materials. Good day and welcome. Sustainability and circularity go hand in hand in today's acceptable business practices. So why is it important for security matters and how does your technology plug into this chain? So our technology was developed by the Israeli government as a protection measure. It protects the lives of people in Israel and around the world. So it's scale, stable, reliable. What we do with close to 100 patents in various stages, we give materials memory. We are able to add to any material at any stage data. And by that, the chemistry, the material becomes not only a property provider, but also a data carrier. This enables, as you said, to push sustainability and circularity to be aligned with growth because we solve the conflict of growth, more production, more consumption, and we make it aligned with sustainability and circular economy. This is what we do in SMX. We give materials memory, and by giving materials memory, you are able to give them more than one life cycle more than one purpose and application. You refer to your technology as giving material memory. You also specifically made reference to gold memory. Can you expand as to what that means and how your technology can be used? Yes. What we do in the gold industry is that we mark at any stage at the life cycle of the gold at mine, at refinery, at product. By that, you get ethical sourcing, transparency, and gold efficacy at one technology. And more than that, the dependency on human and paper auditing goes away. No more dependency on human and paper auditing. But the interesting angle, I believe, is that that gives artisanal mining, that gives rural areas such as Africa the ability to compete and comply with EU Green Deal regulation and with actually any regulation much faster. So being ethical, being transparent becomes a competitive advantage to the small, to the remote and I believe this is a huge thing for the African mining industry. How can SMX technology be viewed as a reliable ESG verification system and how does it assist companies to comply with legal regulatory requirements? So it all evolves from the fact that the marker coexists inside the material at all of its life cycle at virgin, at raw material stage, at product stage, at waste stage, and all of the data is transmitted to a blockchain. So what we really get is an environment, a business environment that connects the physical world to the judicial world and creates full transparency, and by that, the ability to transform from a linear way of production to a circular way of production, which means giving any kind of material a second life. 
What is the longevity of this technology? We believe that we are inside, deep inside, the fifth industrial revolution after close to 500 years of industry, industrial age. This means that the whole way that industries are working is going to change. What we bring is the ability with one technology, and this will take maybe 15 to 20 years until it happens on any material at any industry. And this is what we do. And this is why we work from organic cotton, silk and coated canvas to gold and cobalt and aluminum. We believe that all industries will transform from a linear to a circular model, that all industries will find themselves in order to be competitive, less dependent on sourcing a virgin, less dependent on buying new and using waste, using waste as the key advantage to be more competitive. And in that sense, SMX, as the first technology we believe to be fully industrialized, fully commercialized, is what NASDAQ called us a segment creator. We are creating the segment of technologies that transform industries from a linear to a circular model. As a NASDAQ listed organization and as a company that has vested interest in gold mining, do you see a shift in commodities and will you be implementing the same technology? I believe the gold industry led by the industry leaders is making bold moves to be transparent and ethical because transparency and efficacy come with better practices, better quality and better volumes and better revenues. So by that, I think the gold industry is a leader and I believe all rare earth non-ferrous metals will follow what gold industry uh, is changing to become, which is having full transparency from mine to refining to product and to creating an ability, any recycled gold to say from what and from where it was re gold recycled, uh, uh, what recycled gold was used. And this is what we are providing to show what and how and where this recycled gold was originated from. And I believe, as I said, this will go to steel, aluminum, cobalt, silver, rare earth, any kind of material. So gold industry is the leader because it's related to high-end jewelry, because it's related to banking, because it's related to what and how people save and protect their own financial assets. But we believe that all metals and all related metal industries will follow this path. Where are you looking to expand your organizations and interests? Yes, yes, we're rolling out now uh, from Singapore, all of the uh, backing operations to Japan. We work with uh, Sumitomo and with Sumitomo, with Sumitomo big clients. So we have uh, Japan, Australia, Malaysia, Indonesia. I just came from Bangkok this morning. We're opening operation there related to synthetic plastic, not uh, uh, natural uh, uh, rubber, synthetic rubber and plastics. Uh, obviously, we operate in Europe, in the US. So yeah, we're, we're, we're now at, at a very aggressive growth, uh, growth pace. All right, H, thank you so much for your time. That was Security Matters. CEO H. Alon sharing his insights on the technology available to track the value chain of raw materials. And that's it for today. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you very much. And as we like to say, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. <laughs>